Hello everyone, today we are going to look at the differences between these two F15T8 fluorescent light bulbs. Now, they are both made by GE. One is older and one is newer. Now, they are, um, one is cool white and one is warm white, so they're not the same color, but that's, um, that won't affect too much of this. So, let's get started. So the first one we're going to look at is this, um, General Electric one. This is the older one. It's F15T8 CW, meaning cool white. And you can see it says General Electric in big letters on there, made in Canada. And no Mercury logo on there, so you don't know if there's Mercury in this or not. You can also see on the top here that um, we have a nice little end cap on the top. It has um, plastic all around the two little um, contact points. And we can also see it, that this um, end part is very small, and it is smaller than the actual tube itself. You can kind of see that right there. Anyway, it's a very nice bulb. Same on the other side. And again, it's cool white, so let's put in the fixture and try it out. Now this fixture is pretty flimsy, so it's probably going to take a while for me to get this bulb in. Oh, maybe not. Okay, there we go. So let's turn it on. So as you can see, it is very cool white. Let's just shut this light up here. It is very cool white. And you can see when you face it down, it's providing a very nice color to all these boxes here. It really brings out all the color on all the boxes, which I kind of like about um, cool white bulbs. We can also see some of the blackening on the arc tube in there, since this bulb is pretty old. So anyway, now let's take a look at this um, newer F15T8 bulb. So here's the newer one, and they're both, again, made by GE. Um, this one doesn't have the GE logo on the etch, but this light bulb actually came with this General Electric fixture down here, so it's obviously made by GE. We can see on it, it says F15T8 slash WW. It does not say warm white. That's the only way of guessing if it's warm white, it's just WW. So if you find this bulb out of the box and you have no idea what that means, then you're probably um, kind of stuck there. But anyway, we can see the um, HG logo on it, or symbol, meaning it has mercury. It is made in China instead of Canada, and we have the manufacture date. So, so far, the older one has a better etch than the newer one. It's more, it has more information on it. So, the older one also has the GE logo and the name on it, whereas this one doesn't. So anyway, let's take a look at this end cap right here. We can see a big difference between this one and this one. We can see that this one is a bit smaller and this one is a bit bigger around the edges here. And also, um, this one is very flush with the, um, the arc tube itself. So this one is smaller than the arc tube, but this one is bigger than the arc tube. So that's a nice little feature right there. Now this black part is actually made out of cardboard on the newer bulb, whereas the black part on there is actually made out of plastic. So that's a um, big sign that they're trying to save money right there. So anyway, we can also um, see that this is a lot bigger and it has brass pins, meaning it's, it's not, well, it is um, corrosion resistant, whereas this one isn't. So it could actually corrode around the little pins on the side here. So, so let's um, give this warm white one a try in this fixture here and this fixture is literally bendy so let's turn it on here and we can already see that it is most definitely warm white other than cool white we can even see it on the boxes up here it's not bringing out as sharp of colors as before maybe it's not really picking up on camera but it's mostly bringing out the browns in the picture not mainly the colors like this one will give out a lot more colors so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the comparison between the old F15Z8 General Electric bulb and the newer one. Thanks for watching.